What's up guys? Going to do another cooking video. <laughs> People love these videos, so here's another one. Today I'm doing a little fish dish. Uh, this is going to be baked tilapia with tomatoes and olives. Uh, one, another one of those quick, easy things. I'm not, I already prepped everything. I figure some of my cooking videos end up getting too long because I'm showing me cutting stuff up, which people like and I will do in the future, but for this one I want to make it as straightforward and simple as possible. So all my stuff is prepped up. The ingredients you're going to need, first thing, most important obviously is the fish. We have uh, fresh tilapia. You want to smell your fish. If there is a fishy smell, make sure it is extremely, extremely light. If it smells heavy like fish and it's still raw, uh, it's not fresh. You can use uh, you know, frozen fish, stuff like that, but give me a second. Just wash my hands now that I touched it. Sorry about that. Uh, by the way, I don't always talk about it, but when you're cooking, you should wash your hands before you even open any packages up. Every time you touch raw meat, you know, poultry, fish, whatever, just constantly wash your hands when you're cooking. It's good hygiene. Uh, but anyway, all right, so fish, I'm doing this uh, recipe with four fillets. You can, of course, double it if you have more people or if you're hungrier, you could eat more. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing this with four. So I have four fresh uh, tilapia fish fillets. I have one lime, which I cut in half. We're going to be using the uh, fresh juice out of this. Quick little tip with the limes. Uh, if you have to juice a lime or a lemon, throw them in the microwave for about 15 seconds. It gets all the juices inside kind of it kind of breaks the uh, cell walls so that when you actually cut it open I mean they'll do it so it's too hot but just warm it up so when you cut it open and squeeze it it makes uh, juicing a little easier uh, next we want to have some uh, chopped red onion get this without holding the package here uh, this is a half a cup of finely chopped red onion then we have a half a cup of coarse chopped on, uh, olives now you can use whatever olives you like. I have a mixture of green olives and uh, kalamala olives. Uh, I really like the flavor of the uh, kalamala. Kalamala? Kalamala ding dong? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Kalamata? Anyway. Um, olives. Whatever kind you like. Uh, you could do this I guess with black olives. Uh, I don't know. Uh, most of the recipes I see for this is with some kind of green or some kind of more of a, you know, saltier olive but anyway half cup olives you want three quarters of a cup to a cup of chopped uh, tomato you want to uh, juice your tomatoes you know cut them open before you chop, up, chop them up de-seed them take out all the moisture we don't want the moisture we just want the actual tomato uh, same deal as if you're you know making tacos you know uh, chopping up tomato for tacos uh, next we need um, a tablespoon of uh, minced garlic which is about two to three cloves depending on how big they are uh, we're going to need some fresh thyme. If you have a, you know, a sprig of thyme, it's even better, but I just have the uh, dried herb. Need some olive oil. It's better to use. In this case, you can use something that's pretty good. An extra virgin olive oil will be even better for this recipe. It's not a complete necessity, but you will taste the oil, so it's nicer to use something that's a little bit better quality. Now, the last thing I have to actually improvise. Uh, it actually calls for a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. And believe it or not, I have no red pepper flake in the house. Crazy, I know. 40,000 hot sauces, no red pepper flake. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to do just a little old squirt of the uh, sriracha hot sauce, which I will have a review on in the future. Very good stuff. So that's it. Basically, well, I'll go through the steps right now, but there's my ingredients list. So let's uh, put everything together. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do once ever all your ingredients are prepped is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And while that's warming up, we get our, our dish, whatever we're going to be cooking in. Put this down a little bit. Uh, I'm just using one of these throwaway things just for convenience. I don't have to do any dishes. Plus, I have one extra left over from something else. And first thing you want to do is just put a little bit of uh, olive oil. Grab that here. In the bottom of your baking dish. You don't have to use something with a high wall like this. You can use something a little shallow. But just give it a little bit of a spritz there. Take your fillets, line them up, rub them down just a little bit. Now this, these fillets don't have any skin on it. If you do, you want to put it skin side down. But anyway, just push those over. Okay. Flip that over like that. All right. So just kind of evenly put them in the best you can. And coat this just a tiny bit of oil on the top. Rub it in a little bit. 
and again, clean hands, everything's washed and fresh. Okay. Next thing you want to do is hit it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. I always use fresh cracked. Don't go crazy here, just a little bit. Pepper's okay, but I mean with the salt, you don't want to over salt it. Okay. That should be enough. Alright, so now put this aside and grab yourself a mixing bowl. Alright, so now grab all your ingredients. We're going to be basically making like a salsa type deal that we're going to mix all together and uh, we're going to put that over our fish before we put it in the oven to bake. Very simple. So throw your tomatoes in first. Okay, make sure you get everything out of there. Now I'm going to put in uh, the oil. Again, uh, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, for this uh, this specific purpose when you're mixing the bowl, you want to put about a tablespoon or so. So not too much. Just enough to kind of coat everything. You can always go back and put a little more if you need to later. Next I'm going to throw in my red onion. Okay, let me grab a spoon real quick here. Make sure we get all of our ingredients out into the bowl. Okay, and then we have our olives. And our garlic. And our thyme. Now for the thyme, recipe calls for uh, two sprigs. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a dash here. Nothing super precise about this one. It's kind of like flavor, whatever you prefer. Oop, let me open up this other one. Here we go, I'll put it in my hand first so you can see. I'm going to say about a uh, half a teaspoon or so. Okay. And then we want to juice our lime right over top of this. Make sure you get all that juice. Okay, here's the other half. Be afraid to manhandle these uh, limes. Really want to get all the juice out of them you possibly can. Okay. Now, just mix it all up. Pretty simple. Now remember, we salted or seasoned our fish with salt and pepper, so you do not want to put any in here. That'd be great just on a crusty piece of bread. You don't even need the fish. But anyway, all right. So that's it. Let me go grab our fish. Just right here. And we're just going to spoon this over the top, or pour it over the top. Just kind of coat all the fish there with this. Our spoon. Just spread it out evenly to coat all the fish. Pretty simple, right? Still with me? And this whole thing is going to go in the oven for um, 10 to 15 minutes, or I'm sorry, 15 to 20 minutes, or until the uh, fish is flaky. And that's it. So we'll throw it in the oven. We'll take a look at it when it's done. All right, guys, it's been uh, exactly 20 minutes. Just going to uh, check this fish. Move a little bit of stuff over, make sure it's all cooked. And looks perfect. Nice and flaky. Alright. So, uh, some of you may have caught it, but I completely forgot about the uh, sriracha sauce. Um, just one of those things. Making a video, I'm not thinking about everything I should be, and I completely forgot it. Uh, the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake originally. So it's not, it's really more for flavor than heat. Not a big deal. But anyway, I'm going to plate it and uh, we'll give it a go, see what it tastes like. Okay, now we're going to eat it. Plates up, looks really nice. Uh, I don't have the fresh thyme 
This is where you take a, uh, a sprig of thyme and just kind of rest it across there. But it looks beautiful. I'm sure it tastes good. We're going to find out in just a second here. My drink of choice with this, I think it complements it quite well, is the Lemon uh, San Pellegrino. And this happens to be a, um, a cap you have to pop off. So what better than to try out our old 2008 Victorinox Soldier. Move this out of the way, just a second. Get our drink open here. All right. Now, let's test this out. See if it came out good. Get a little bit of that topping on there. Get some olives, some tomato. It's weird eating behind a tripod, but anyway. Bring this bite around. Oh wow. Tastes really, really good. The fish is um it's just cooked perfectly. It's really tender. Uh, it's very juicy. I'm not a huge fish person, guys. In fact, growing up, I wouldn't eat fish unless it was fried or battered. Um, fish sticks and beer battered fish is pretty much the only fish I ever ate. Cooking fish like this was out of the question. Forget it. Ew. Grossed me out. Didn't like it. But as I get older, and now that I cook for myself, I find that uh, having fish in my diet is pretty good. It's just, if nothing else at all, it changes things up. I'm tired of the same old stuff, so I'm trying to do fish uh, once a week now. And having recipes like this makes things a lot easier. Anyway, let me take another bite here without spilling it. Mmm. Awesome. Very good little meal. So, um, hey, if you're not super into fish, this may be, I mean, like, you know, you eat fish, but not all the time, you don't like it a lot, or you have a hard time cooking it like I always did. This is a super easy thing to do. It, it takes very little time to prepare and actually cook. Uh, if you're not really, really a fish person, Having a white fish is definitely a benefit. It's not as strong as a salmon or some other uh, varieties of fish. It's it's very light and delicate. It's absolutely delicious though. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish my dinner here without spilling it. Nope. Wow, very good. Ah, you know what? Just for kicks. Let's try a little with the uh, sriracha sauce, see if that makes any difference really. Put a little on a bite over here. Pretend like we put it in the uh, recipe. Get some of that topping. Okay. Eh, I think it can go either way. I think I prefer it without it. I like actually the, just a tiny, tiny bit of heat in this, this meal. But uh, I just put too much on that bite, so the it totally changed the flavor. But uh, still a very, very good dish. Anyway, you don't want to sit here and watch me eat the rest of my dinner. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys make this at home, what you thought of it, and I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.